Hello and welcome to Dubai Trains. And in this quick tip of today, I want to quickly talk about stall current. What is it? How do you measure it? And why is it important? Let's have a look after the intro. This video is made possible by the Dubai Trains Patreons. Check how you can become a member to unlock extra content. What is stall current? And what is current uh, to start off with? That's basically the amount of power that a locomotive will uh, ask from the system depending on various load conditions. So we're going to simulate three load conditions and then measure the difference. And why is this important? Well, the locomotive should not ask for more amperage or more current than the decoder can handle. Because if that's the case, then the decoder will say poof, and that's the end of that. So here we are, I've set everything up. This is our amp meter and it's connected in the correct way to measure the amps that's on this track. So there's three different scenarios that we're going to test. The first one is when it's just rolling free ahead, just to give us an idea of what kind of amperage you know, we're talking about. The second one is I'm going to put this block on the rails and just let it run and let the wheel slip. You'll see it will probably draw a little bit more current. And then the third one, I'm going to try and stop all the wheels together. And that will be the actual stall current. So what you want to do is you want to set your volts to your track power, which in my case is 12 volts. Now I'm going to put this guy on the track and it's going to be spinning away. Oh, there we go. So you see the amperage in a half successful test was 0.27. So that's great. So now let me do the same test, but put it against this block and see what the rating will be in that then. So now we're already at 0.32. And now let's do the actual stall current. 0.8 and that's the end of the test. So why is this important? Well the uh, decoder is rated for one amp so with 0.8 we're well below that level. But if it would be a little bit above then it, it technically would not pass this all test. But in my mind when are you ever truly going to stall a locomotive like that? You're never going to lean or sit on one. So I find that the middle test when the wheels are slipping is more representative of, of real life load and what you would actually do and ask from a decoder. So in any case, the decoder amperage rating must be a bit higher than the amperage that you're measuring in this test. That was the quick tip for today. Check my channel if you wanna see videos on the entire DC to DCC uh, install and conversion. We will have many more useful tips just like this. Thank you very much and thank you for watching.